Ladies and gentlemen, we have detected gravitational waves. We did it. The detected gravitational waves were produced during the final fraction of a second of the merger of two black holes to produce a single, more massive spinning black hole. This collision of the two black holes had been predicted but never observed. The gravitational waves were detected last September by both of the twin LIGL detectors. Based on the observed signals, legal scientists estimated that the black holes for this event were about 29 and 36 times the mass of the Sun and the event took place 1.3 billion years ago. About three times the mass of the Sun was converted into gravitational waves in a fraction of a second with a peak power output about 50 times that of the whole visible universe. In 1916, German-born theoretical physicist Einstein predicted the existence of gravitational waves. Gravitational waves were the last piece of Einstein's theory of general relativity that had yet to be proven. In 19 in 1974, two American scientists discovered a binary pulsar, a pair of two dead stars emitting pulses of radio waves. They later realized that the orbit of the pulsar was slowly shrinking over time because of the release of energy in a way Einstein's theory predicted gravitational waves. For discovering the pulsar and indirectly confirming the existence of gravitational waves, the two were awarded the 1993 Nobel Prize in Physics. The new legal discovery was the first observation of the gravitational waves themselves, made by measuring the tiny disturbances the waves made to space and time as they pass through the Earth. While opening a door to new ways to observe the universe, scientists said gravitational waves should help them gain knowledge about enigmatic objects like black holes and neutron stars. The waves also may provide insight into the mysterious nature of the very early universe.